Alright guys, I already have the Not Polish Universal Tips on and today we'll be using M18 Glam Girl from Not Polish also. And what I did is I placed a smaller bead on the nail about 90% of um, to the cuticles and then pull it down lightly. You see I did not grab a big bead of acrylic because when I want to I want to ombre it to a clear so I'm gonna grab it a little bit so when I pull it down there won't be enough acrylic to the end to the tip of the nail so what's gonna work because we're keeping it clear so now I'm gonna place the second bead onto the nail and I got a little bit on the cuticle like there so I'm just gonna clean off the edges always clean it off when it's wet and never wait for it to dry like that around the cuticle because later on when you go to file or shape you might end up nicking your cuticle your client's cuticle because it's stuck to their skin so make sure you always keep it nice and clean and if it gets on the cuticle a bit clean it off when it's wet and now that's done we're going to encapsulate it in crystal clear powder and again whenever you're working with crystal clear powder make sure when you pick up the bead it is runnier than usual because we don't want a bunch of air bubbles in our see-through nails right and i'm just gonna pull it down sorry the camera is a little bit off angle right there okay so i'm just gonna press and pull it all the way down to the tip of the nail and this crystal clear is also from not polish it's called mirror clear if you guys are looking at it online it's called mirror clear and it's a super crystal clear powder so there you go i the camera is a little bit off angle again guys sorry about that i am just gonna cut it off at the end there you go and um always use your brush to um, press the acrylic into the shape of the nail so always shape the acrylic into the nail when it's wet you see I'm just kind of shaping the nails just like that same goes for this one I'm just gonna redo re-encapsulate the um, powder because I felt like my camera was way off angle earlier okay so we already have the new powder all the way to the cuticle so when you apply the crystal clear powder you don't need to bring it all the way to the cuticles because that would make things super thick around the cuticles and we don't want that so i'm just gonna apply about 80 to 90 percent of the nail and then i'm gonna drag the rest of the product down to the tip right there and just press and pull it all the way down and again Make sure your powder is a little bit more runnier because we don't want a bunch of air bubbles, right? And then you just press and pull, press and pull. And as you can see, even when I'm applying the powder, I did not lose the shape of the nail too much. You see that? I'm just going to cut at the end like that and press it into the nail. And then again, I'm just going to mold it into the shape that I want. And I do have a little piece of glitter in there. That's okay. All right, now this is dry. We're gonna go in with our, um, my favorite bit. Again, it's the five in one cross bit and you know, like usual, I'm just gonna shape up the nails. And I'm sorry guys, um, I have not made a video that goes into detail with my shaping or my filing and my application too much because I do a lot of the design and I have so many design that I want to show you guys so if I do get into too many details I feel like the video is gonna be super long so I just kind of showing you guys my designs for now and I will get into my second phase of you know shaping and applications a little bit more or um, filing there you go so I'm just gonna go over the top of the nail just like that to smooth it out and make sure it's smooth and when you're done with that we're gonna go in with the not polished hand file and you guys have to try this file okay once you go to this uh, the, once you guys use this not polished hand file I don't think you guys will switch to anything else you will love it alright guys now that is almost done when it's done we're gonna go in and make sure you guys really buff the nails nice and smooth okay because if your nail is not smooth when you go to draw on the lines it can get it can look um 
rigid and not like a smooth line so make sure you guys buff it out really nice and um i am getting out of breath just talking on this video and what i like to do is you know i put on the matte top coat here for 30 seconds and i apply on a glossy top coat on the bottom and what it does is just bring out the clear look a little bit more so what i'm doing right now is go in with the glossy top coat and just put it on the bottom of the nail just like that Anytime I am working with clear nails, I always apply a top coat on the bottom of the nails also. And I think that will make the nails way more see-through. All right, guys. And after the matte top coat is done, here we're going to work on our 3D flowers right now. And I am using a white from Not Polish. It's number two. And what I love about this white is when you go to do 3D, it does not crack when you press down you see that i'm gonna bring the pedal into a point like that and i'm gonna use the bottom with the body of the brush and just press down on the uh, pedal and you notice how the white did not crack so with some white it's hard it's hard to do 3d flowers because when you go to press down on it they tend to crack the powder tend to crack but this does not crack you see that super smooth there you go and just using the body just press it down and same goes for this so I usually do three petals in the middle and then the two larger petals on the ends of the nails like that and there you go all right and I'm just gonna pull it into a point so make it a little bit pointy at the end for the end petals like that and then using the body of your brush and just press it down in the center just like that and press it out on both sides of the petals oh this is making me out of breath just talking <laughs> all right guys and um you know we always do a giveaway in one of our videos and um to win this video to win this giveaway just um all you have to do is answer the question in my video and um the question of the day for today is is who or what inspire you to get into the nail industry and as for me i have always loved art even when i was younger in middle school grade school i have always loved to draw i'm always drawing anything and even when i was in high school i was, I was like well, when i graduate from high school i want to become an artist and um so what I did is I took a break from high school for a year and what I did is work part-time as a nail tech and um, I just fell in love with the industry and here I am 12 years later still doing nails and I still love it so much I have a passion for it 12 years still love it all right guys leave me your answer down below I really want to know who or what inspire you to get into the nail industry and um for this deep french i am using just a white gel polish okay you guys can use any type of white gel polish just regular white gel polish and what i did is i create the outline for the french first and um i am going to go in with my actual gel polish brush you see how that brush is bigger and i'm just going to cover the larger area with that brush because if i use the smaller brush it will take me a little bit longer to do so i'll just go in with the bigger brush to brush in the larger area and now that's done i clean off the edges just a little bit to make sure it keeps the shape of the nails and now i'm gonna go in and make sure i'm, I'm gonna sharpen the smile line up just a bit like that with the um gel again to make it sharp nice and neat and make sure you cover all the areas make sure they're nice and smooth and you notice how I always wipe these um, side of the nail just to make sure the nail stay in shape and before you cure the gel you have to sprinkle on the glitter and then cure it for 30 seconds all right so here i am i'm going to repeat the step one more time in case you guys missed it i'm going to draw on the white gel 
so I'm just going to draw on the white gel polish just like this and then when the gel is still wet all right right after I done with this line right here and the gel is still wet what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the glitter directly on top of the wet gel just like that and then cure it for 30 seconds and then you can dust it off just like that look at that glitter all right we're gonna repeat the step again just a different look just draw on your white um, outline of the French and you notice how I am using a longer brush to do um, these lines and make sure you keep it at do not do too many strokes just keep it at one long stroke just like I usually do there you go just one long stroke all the way down and then lift up my brush I think I like my old hand better I miss the old hand that I was using that's pretty messed up I, I think I like that one better <laughs> all right so now this is done you see how i'm just going to straighten out the line just make sure it's super nice and straight and then now that is good right and then we're going to take the glitter pour it directly on top of the wet gel cure it under the light for 30 seconds all right cure it, and then now you dust it off there you go and we're going to add some gem to this also so i'm just gonna add a little bit more smaller lines outline to it just little details to it like that all right now the gel is still wet i am gonna Pour the glitter on top of the wet gel just like that. Cure it for 30 seconds and then dust it off. And now we're going to go in and apply on our little gems. And what I'm using right now is a matte, I mean a, a dipping base, which is a number two from Not Polish, to stick on my rhinestones. Again, the larger rhinestone, the bigger droplet of the dipping base you use. And um, another thing, these base coat, make sure you're not using super old base coats okay guys because once the base gets super old it takes a long time for it to dry because uh most of the time when i'm applying the rhinestone on using the base i always just let it air dry so make sure the base coat is not super old and there you go and then same thing for this one bigger stones bigger droplet of the base coat and um if you guys want the base coat to dry a lot faster you can use an activator around the gems just make sure that the base coat is not on top of the gems because when you go to use the activator it makes your rhinestone is super dull okay so be careful with the activator that's why i like to use um to let my base coat my dipping base air dry because sometimes if i get the base on the rhinestone and i don't even notice it i go to use the activator to dry up the nail it's um it make my rhinestone a little dull but again to let your base coat dry make sure base coat air dry make sure your dipping bait is not super old okay guys and i am sorry guys that i have not been really responsive to you guys on here that is because 
no excuses but i have been extremely busy with my salon being back open and me helping out at the warehouse and i just get super tired when i get home and i have to make video tutorial and have to post nail pictures so i'm i'm kind of tired lately and i do go to sleep a little bit earlier because i'm seven months pregnant now so um i'm sorry if i am not responding to you guys as as much as i would like to and i would love to get back on um, talking to you guys again so please bear with me during these times it's just extremely busy for me right now and i hope you guys enjoy this video and um i can't wait for you guys to see my next fall tutorial my fall nails tutorial and this is the finished product i hope you guys enjoy the video and um i'll see you guys on the next one and thank you guys for your support and love and everything this whole time i'll see you guys later